Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a medium tutorial in which we will show you how to define nose to nose contacts in ANSYS. For today's tutorial we have an already prepared model which is composed of two volume two volume surfaces. Uh, this, this could be like a metal sheet having a reinforcement with a triangular shape. So what we're going what we're, we are going to do is create the two groups of nodes having the nodes of the contact surfaces and then create a contact the bond that contact between them, apply an acceleration, some restrictions and simulate the model. So the first thing we have to do is well we're gonna select these areas for that we're gonna use the a cell that s comma peak we're gonna select the area the top area belonging to the volume uh, just in case this volume is already this model is already meshed the element types are defined and the material so we have everything in this mo model the idea is just to show you how to use the nose to nose contact so we're gonna select that area and then we're gonna select the nodes linked to areas. And once we have those nodes linked to areas, we're gonna create a group node named A1 nodes. I'm gonna select everything again. And we're gonna do the same thing again. A cell comma S comma pick. I'm gonna select that area. Okay. Nodes, nodes linked to areas select. We're going to see the nodes. I'm going to create another group named A2 nodes. Once we have done that, we're going to apply some restrictions. The restrictions are going to be on the first volume, the K comma peak. We're going to restrain, restrain the key points. One, two, three four key points, all degrees of freedom and zero. And then we're gonna apply an acceleration with the ACL acceleration on the Y and Z direction, 9.81 comma 9.81. That should in fact make it minus 9.81 to be sure that this triangle is departing from the contact surface. Okay, so now that we have applied the acceleration, all we have to do is create a contact because these two volumes don't share a common area. They don't. They're just totally different entities. So we were, if we would sh simulate this model right now, it will. We will have uh, the movement of these these two things independently, and therefore we would have errors. Okay. So for the contact, we go to the contact manager on the right top corner, the contact wizard, and we're going to do nodal components. You have different options here, but we're going to use nodal components, area 1 as the target surface, and area 2 as the contact surface. We hit OK, node to surface, the optional settings, we're going to create a type of bond that always uh, contact and we hit create. It tells you that the contact part has been created and to interact we need to use the real constant 3. We finish as we said in our previous tutorial this type of contacts are a different type of elements. We go to preprocessor and we see the element type we actually have a target and a contact element you could create them in a different way. There's multiple options on them because the contacts are very complicated from the mathematical point of view. But for this tutorial, we just need that and we're gonna look at the simulation and results. So now we're gonna go to the solution menu, solu and solve. We're gonna have a warning, another warning, and we have to wait because it's a non-linear solution. As I said on the previous tutorial, we said on the previous tutorial, all the contacts, even the bonded contacts, have a non-linear behavior. 
basically the nonlinear the the um, bond context should not have a nonlinear behavior, but somehow in the mathematic uh, formulation there's some part that require the nonlinear uh, formulation. And what we'll see is here we have the criteria, the criteria with the light blue and our force. And as far as, as long as this, the the purple one is it's smaller than the uh, blue one or the light blue one, our model will be constantly converging. If not, we will have not a converging converged model, and we will have problems. Anyway, so now we go to the general post processing. And we're going to look at the summation of displacements. And as you can see, the acceleration is pulling up the whole system. We don't have anything going away. We are going to look at the Vomitus stress equivalent. The movies of stress are at the corners, as you could see. And we're gonna look at the vectoral solution. So as you can see, there's different deformations. The triangle moves much more than the base. We're gonna go back to the summation plot. So as you can see the contact is working. We're gonna to try to go to the contact manager and by going to the preprocessor and change the properties of this contact to a standard model. We're gonna simulate. So solve. We get the warning. We get the nonlinear solution. And as you will see, the model is non converging. It will not converge. We will always have our force um, uh, above the criteria, the criteria force. I'm going to stop it a little bit and continue as soon as I see a result. Here we have, as you can see, we have a 0.5 seconds moment. They went parallel down. The criteria is kind of going up a little bit, but it will never reach the top, so I'm going to stop it. Because there is no sense in an static analysis because the triangle, we are doing a static analysis, the triangle, the rain from the triangle is trying to lift from the XZ uh, plate, which this will not have a solution in a static analysis. So I'm going to try one more thing. We're going to try to change this contact to a not standard to a no separation always. I'm going to do the same, that's all we'll solve. And hopefully we'll have a convergence on this one. Most of the times when you have a, when you're dealing with the context, they create a lot of problems with the convergence. You must be careful when using them. Here you can see they also go parallel as before. So this is not a good situation. And again, I'm gonna just stop it. I go back to the bonded contact once again, so you can see that these non-convergences are determined by that by the configuration of the contact. I'm going to go solve, solve. As you can see, we have the solution is done. So there you know, there you go. Now I'm going to quit. Uh, now you know how to use the contacts when you have the the, when you have a nose to nose contacts, they're the most recommended type of contacts. We would like to thank you for your attention and we hope you enjoyed this presentation. For more tutorials, please visit our community and follow us on the social media.